Recognizing a quorum, I'll call the February 1st, 2017 regular meeting of the National Planning Board to order. The first item on our agenda is consideration of approval of the minutes of the November 30th, 2016 meeting. Do we have a motion? Madam Chair, I move that we accept the minutes as read. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. A motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed? The minutes are approved. The next item, which is new business, is consideration of a rezoning request to rezone the property um, located on East Washington Street, as indicated on our map from R10 Residential Zoning District to B1 General Business Zoning District. It's about three and a half acres and identified by parcel number 38012090 Brian, do you have anything to add? Yeah, actually I do. Um, besides the, the part that I already said earlier about the land itself, this is just a general rezoning, which is the first step as they move forward with their plan um, but I do want to bring light to what we did this past November, which is when we updated our future land use map. And if you recall, there were several areas in town that we felt that was changed or would be changing versus when the plan was originally adopted in 2011. This so, just so happens to be one of the areas that we said would most likely be um, commercial over time. And so therefore, I'm recommending that we approve it because it is consistent with the future land use plan and it is reasonable in the public's best interest because it fits into the character of the area. That's the only thing I'd like to add. Okay. You knew that would be my first question anyhow. I'll beat you to it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm assuming all the adjacent property owners were yes. notified? Yes, ma'am. We've written all the letters and complied with the law. Can you tell us some of the uses that are permitted by right in that district? Um, yes, I can. It's, it's quite a lengthy list, but um, anything that's allowed in the B1 zoning district would be allowed. And uh, feel free to stop me when um, you get tired of hearing them, but I'll start with the A's. Well, you don't have to read them all. Just oh, just an, an example. Idea, um, yeah, a general idea. Just a general idea. Mostly retail establishments, um, some service. Um, type things, but more than what you're accustomed to seeing, restaurants, um, could be a car lot, it could be uh, a grocery store, it could be a pharmacy, I mean it could be a lot of different things, but I don't foresee it being anything scary that could go there. Does anybody else have any questions? Uh, go, ahead. go ahead, no, go ahead. Frank, I'm trying to uh, remember what we had. We had this came up before we rezoned it, or there was a set of apartments. Yeah, it was actually prior to my existence here, but I believe it was back in the time that the um, a property behind it that butts up to Davis Farms. They were trying to do. They were, well. I think. And of course, I, like I said, I hate to tell you what happened because it was prior to my existence here, but I think this piece was drawn into that. This is totally separate. And one thing I would say is that apartments are not allowed in the B1 zoning district, um, nor are they allowed in the R10, which is what it is now. If that's a concern of yours, is neither one are allowed. Uh, Brian, did you say uh, that we don't know or do know if there are wet, wetlands there. I won't know until a site plan is submitted and, these, and they're actually identified and flagged. Okay. Th that step is when things like that are handled. Okay. And what impact would putting a paved parking lot over the sewage line have on the city if the city needed to go in there and, and do something? To the town. To the town. Yeah, to, to the, the town. town. Mm -hmm. If we were to agree to it, which is common, yeah. um, it would actually, the impact and the liability that most felt would be with the property owner. 
because we're going to make sure that we protect ourselves that if we have to repair that that sewer line we're going to tear up your parking lot and it's it's on you to put it back the town won't put the parking lot back okay. but that's that's none going forward and that's all that's above board okay <clears throat> brian i guess one of the questions any drainage you know that's a pretty low line mm -hmm. you know i guess looking forward you know after matthew and the water any issues I, I know it's being looked at, but anything mm -hmm. town related as far I, as drainage? I would expect um, the property to be raised considerably to uh, to address that. Right. Okay. No retention pond or anything like that, we wouldn't know? We won't know until they submit it. Um, after, when you disturb an acre or more is when things like that come into play as far as if you have to have a, a stormwater retainage pond. Um, a lot of the specific questions i wish i could tell you i just don't have anything in front of me but we'll work through all that and make sure everything's properly permitted and they follow along with local state and federal rules i'll make a motion that um, we accept uh, rezoning request for this parcel from an R10 to a B1 general business. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? If not, those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed? So this item will be considered by town council on Tuesday night with a recommendation from planning board, a unanimous recommendation for approval of the rezoning request the next item for consideration is election of planning board officers brian yes if you recall your um, bylaws state that the first meeting of the calendar year it's time to um, elect your chairman and vice chairman for the for the next year and this year um, miss mcgee is your chairman with miss collier being your vice chairman so I would ask that you consider um, electing officers at this time for the upcoming calendar year. Okay. Which do you want to take first? It doesn't matter to me. Um, just as long as y'all make a decision and vote on it, you can handle it how you want to. Do we have a motion? I make a motion that we keep them. you as the chairman and you as the vice chair. <laughs> I second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? And thank y'all for accepting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your continued support and attendance at the meetings. <laughs> we appreciate it. Welcome. We've been a team for a while, I many of have. us. Okay, the next meeting would be March 1st, if we have anything for the agenda. Is there anything else, Brian? No, ma'am, I don't have anything um, in our office that's been submitted this time, but I would say still pencil it in in case I get something next week or two. Okay. All right. Need a motion to adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. I second. All right. Go. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. Thank you both for setting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, right.